Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I do an oracle card spread, which is an energy reading, so it's not a horoscope. So it's for Sagittarius energy. So wherever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies and themes for the next week or so. From whenever you see this video, I'm not putting dates on my videos anymore because I realize that they don't matter to people. I've been getting comments on videos I did months ago. So um, I do upload one every week though. So it, if you want, so it, the video will come to you whenever it's supposed to. But if you want it fresh off the press, Sagittarius, do subscribe to my channel. Just click that link below and also ring that bell so you know when I upload all of your favorite content and you'll get it right when I do. Um, let's get right into your reading. Oh, there's always an extended reading. That link is in the description box below. What it does is it expands, broadens, articulates, and personalizes the reading that we're going to start with here on YouTube, and it also includes a romance reading. So hopefully I'll see you over there too. <clears throat> Sagittarius. Mm, let's see what's crowning your energy. Popping out right away. Truth transcends illusion. I feel like there's been a lot of pent up misunderstandings that have been happening, not just to you guys, but in the cosmos in general. So this is finally not necessarily truth coming out as in truth over lies, but an understanding and it's not just an, no, not an acceptance an understanding something like dawns, the light bulb dawns and you realize Finally, it's like looking at a bunch of scattered puzzle pieces, Sagittarius, and being able to put the trickiest ones into place. So even if the whole puzzle isn't completed by the end of this week, what you'll have to put together after this week will be so easy, it'll just fall into place. This is like those major points of contention that we're not, that we're not adding up. So anywhere in your life that this could have been happening or going on, um, I mean, I will get deeper into the reading of different examples, but essentially this is, oh, full moon. Do you see the full moon behind? And it's the full moon today. We're doing this reading on the full moon. So this is very much, this is a Virgo energy. Um, Virgo has a wonderful way of helping us organize information so that we can understand what's necessary and what isn't. And perhaps that's the key, right? That there was so much going on in your life or so much clutter or distraction it wasn't that you couldn't have put two and two together. It's that you couldn't even find the two and two to put together because it was under so much garbage. Now that you've been able to organize the information, the way to organize it or the way that it adds up becomes extremely clear to you. And there's this dawning. This is Aquarius energy. So, um, like I said, we're shifting, uh, Saturn is shifting from Capricorn into Aquarius. It is definitely a universal shift and a mind shift toward a higher consciousness. Something that you and Aquarius, I think, have very much in common is that you sort of, you look at the larger picture. You look on the community scale. You love to philosophize, point things out, help people understand um, whereas Aquarius is a little bit more actionable in that they actually like to figure out how do I help society. But there is this broad-minded sensibility that's going to be coming over the world and taking over from that very pragmatic how do I help me sensibility of Capricorn. There is this what's the larger picture sensibility of Aquarius that we're coming to. So a lot of these... Um, clarifications might be coming over the next couple of weeks in your life. Now they could be happening to you or they could be happening through you. And that's something that I want to understand more as we get into the reading. But there is definitely this energy of, in, in my opinion, it's happening in front of you. It's it's, de it's not necessarily affecting your life as directly as it is affecting your mindset and, and the way that you perceive things. Um, and the way you feel about things, the, what, what you want to do and what takes priority. So this is really about different things starting to click into place. And you might be surprised where the priorities end up. Um, we have this energy of love is all around. This is a sense of maybe feeling not appreciated or underappreciated. People not 
or having felt like um, people haven't recognized you or, or spoken to you or reached out. There, ha there could have been a lack of communication during this Mercury retrograde, wondering, hey, why haven't my exes called me? No, they probably have. I'm just kidding. But this is a sense of why haven't I heard from that person? Why hasn't this person like uh, surfaced? Or or why haven't I gotten any communication? Or why haven't I heard from why haven't I heard from those job applications? Why haven't I heard? Why haven't I heard? This is lack of communication, sort of like a backup in communication, not hearing anything, which can be more frustrating than actually hearing things that are critical. You could be getting criticism. That could be, that could be, um, you know, it could be not hearing anything or getting criticized too much. What came out with this energy? Surrender now. This is you. This is you in the present moment deciding to just surrender now and like go, go down in a blaze of glory. This is my moth to flame card. So like a moth to a flame, you're just going to crash and burn. It's almost like you're insisting upon an answer because you want the truth from a situation and now you don't care. You're not going to sit back and wait. You're just going to head, head, like head, headlong into something. And almost like, almost like a dramatic scene of walking into an office and saying, Hey, I know you got my application. Why haven't I heard from you? Finally calling somebody back. It's like you deciding to take that proactive motion of, I want my answers and I want them now because I haven't, I haven't gotten any. And you really need the truth. This idea of, yes, I can handle the truth and I want the truth. Where is the truth? Knock, knock, knock. Hello. I called you two weeks ago and I haven't heard from you or I see you looking at all my profile stuff. I know that you've been I know be I know that you've been online stalking me. So why haven't you called me? It's almost like you proactively calling somebody out and just like crash and burn. You don't even care anymore. <laughs> He's like Sagittarius, you're not even playing around. You're just going to go for it and let them handle the discomfort of you being that direct. Um all right. All right. <laughs> Slipping out the back and the front, Sagittarius. Darn. Um, freedom is yours. So yes, a realization, a breakthrough an understanding, um, a sense of being liberated, feeling good. Like, oh, it's finally, I get the answers that I need or, um, cause there's been a heaviness here. This, in terms of this misunderstanding and whatever information was being kept from you or information that just wasn't coming through, there could be, oh, I'm finally liberated. I'm finally let off the hook. You could be waiting for some really important information, like, like a, like a, like a, a court case or a lawsuit or something like, you know, Hey, I really want to hear, why are we still deliberating on this? Let's, let's, let's put a fire under your butt. And let's get going because I need to know something is really holding me up here and it's causing me a lot of stress. You're about to get relieved of that stress. It's like a, a weight off your shoulders when you get this information. But once again, you're going to have to go in and insist on the information because this communication has been held up. It's been held up because of Mercury retrograde. That's what this energy tells me. Because this is Gemini energy right here, Sagittarius. And Gemini has been sort of <laughs> like, it's sort of just sort of backed up because of the retrograde. And it's natural for that to happen. But at the same time, it can be very frustrating when we're waiting on something that is essential for our process progress and it's not coming through um here we have ooh, a secretive card dream the world into being yeah you're being haunted by the past see your mind see that little skeleton in the back like ghosts from the past or that like things that keep haunting you things that are lingering stuff that's lingering this is your central energy so something has been weighing you down and lingering um Something that you've wanted to be over with for a long time. Like you're finished with this. It's like, why is this still going on? Why is this still happening? We, it was supposed to be done so long ago. And here I am. Your mind and your focus is very much on the future. You still have this playful spirit. You want to be leaping forward, but something keeps holding you back. This is the central energy, but with this energy, this is Aquarius energy. So at least by March 21st, expect to see that there's going to be some major breakthroughs in terms of hearing the information that you need to hear, getting the answers that you want, or finally being able to force your way through and have people make decisions. 
co-create with spirit. This is about divine timing. Spirit is sort of in charge with, uh, with this right now. So it's like the synchronicities have to line up for you. And so I would really trust in that, you know, Saturn transit into Aquarius because this is all about divine timing. This is also about finding your voice and finding the energy to um, share what you feel or, but, but first you have to get in line with spirit. So um, if it doesn't feel like the right time, don't say it. Like wait for synchronicities and signs to react to, to guide you in terms of this is when I should do it or this is when I shouldn't do it. I'm just saying when you get this card, it's essentially spiritual intervention. It's almost like the high priestess energy kind of something to do with your future. It's coming in your future. Clarity is coming. Um, oh, as well as resolution is coming in your future. More of your energy. This is really interesting because... Um, Libra got a lot of this too. Go watch the Libra uh, video. That was really interesting. They got all of their cards in their reading. There was a lot of Libra energy in Libra. So this is almost like coming back into yourself, coming into your own, like feeling like you again, if you haven't felt like yourself in a while, that was because of the Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Believe me, that was very difficult for fire signs, especially, and air signs. It was a little bit easier for... Taurus had some tough trend, but it was a little bit easier for earth and water signs, but definitely it was tough for you guys. So it's like finally your world, like the world is starting to make sense to you again. Think on your feet. This is you, master improvisation, loving the chaos, um, being very uh, malleable and dexterous and, and, and being able to shape shift and shift at will. Um, uh, two plus seven, 27 adds up to nine. So something is coming to a head and it's requiring a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, improvisation from you. So just stay on your toes and, and like, like, don't try to like predict too far out into the future. This is, this is like, um, an energy of almost like you being liberated to be yourself again. Like finally not having to plan things or struggle th through things or be held back by things. This is the energy of you finally being able to like not not have to be unlike yourself. Eight. There is still something hidden. This is this is um something is still hidden. Something is on the horizon. But once again, it's the energy of eight. So this is divine timing. And it, it's almost like this is between two spirit cards. Do you see? So it's all, if, if you feel blocked in right now, Sagittarius, if you feel like you're being held up, it's because of spiritual intervention. The timing isn't right. The timing is coming to a head. They, they need to like hold you out and hold you off until the right, the right second so that they release you at the right time. Um, cause there is this energy of something is, something is still not understood. Um, uh, like I said, like that puzzle, those puzzle pieces. And, and also the puzzle may not be completely solved. This could just be the beginning of the pieces coming together. But do you see this energy once again? It's like eight, eight, all divine timing for something to come to a head and finally something to come out. It's almost like maybe the chaos is waiting to come out, but you do very well in chaos. You like to improvise and think on your feet. Um, it's like, it's almost like, when do we let the cage out? I mean, when, I'm sorry, when do, when do we let the, um, yeah, when, when do we let the cage door swing open? You're finding something out and discovering something. And I think that you're going to be led there. Please, like I said before, stay in tune with synchronicities and signs. Because if you follow those breadcrumbs, it's almost like having to follow breadcrumbs to understand piece by piece what's going on life is a mystery and dream the world into being are both sort of mysterious cards that talk about the future so something is happening something is being set up right now to prepare you for your future what is the grounding energy for sagittarius please grounding energy for sag it's almost like there is no grounding energy. I don't think you want grounding energy. The problem is I feel, I feel like you've been too grounded for a long time. And it's almost like you don't want anybody to know. It could be you that's being the enigma. It could be you that's like, like holding things back. And that's why um, sort of you're the one in control of storming the castle. Hold on. 
Grounding energy for Sagittarius. All of a sudden, the cards stop talking. What is that? Because life is a mystery is here. That's why. It, but this is grounding energy. This isn't like, this isn't even clarifying energy. We'll clarify with tarot and figure this all out. But this is grounding energy. Why won't the grounding energy come out? Look. One grounding card. Time to let go. And it's interesting because it's underground. And this is the energy of three plus one, which is four, which is grounding energy. And do you see this is something from the past? Time to let go of something from the past. Expectations from the past. Desires from the past. Or ideals from the past that might hold you back. And might hold you back from opportunities that are in your future. Time to let go of whatever's been gnawing on your heart. Whatever's been really bothering you. Not only it's time to let go. But because of this divine synchronicity surrounding you. You'll finally be able to let it go. Like I said, a big burden is going to be let let off your shoulders. Now, I don't know what you've been struggling with, whether it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know, um, there any anything. What, what is your personal struggle? Because that's about to end. It's about to finish. Um, now, something that, some your struggle could be related to something that you don't want to let go of. You know, something that you would miss if it was gone. But at the same time, it's causing a lot of stress in your life. Um, there, are, there are, I guess, pros and cons in every situation, but the, the cons are actually outweighing the pros here, and yet you don't want to let go because whatever the pros are, um, you become very attached to. Watch your words. Once again, something is about to come out. It's almost like you want to shout and scream at somebody. Um, be very, very critical and heavily criticizing. Watch your words. Don't say what, what, what you think people want to hear. No, this is the problem. You've been saying what you think people want to hear. You've been pent up energy in yourself, not being able to say what you need to say or having your words misinterpreted every single time you speak. And you're about to let loose on somebody. That's where the watch your words, but it's time to let go. It's time to let go of all those words you've been holding back on. It's time to let go of all those words you've been holding on too Sagittarius it's time to like let somebody have it or or at least it's time for you because like you're yeah you're definitely ready I'm not taking all those cards no that was a flip-flop let's get one nice tend to the small things what I say that something has been building up for probably months if not years but definitely for months little by little it's been like eating away at the walls of your home and you've kept it to yourself you've held on to it because you just wanted to be it was very important to you whatever this is has a grasp on your heart so it's a situation or a person that you care a great deal about and you've been holding your tongue and you've been holding your tongue why to play by the rules and you're just done playing by the rules you're about to go full on Sagittarius and lay out some truth of your own the truth is about to come out and it's about to come out out of your mouth because you are tired of keeping it to yourself this has been growing and this is an infestation now like little like you at first you convinced yourself that no i just want to be gentle i just want to um help i just want to um let me hold hold back a little bit but then it, it added up like you had to hold back more and more and more and the infestation just took over. It's like whatever you were holding back from kind of like overpowered you and took advantage of the situation and you're just done. You're about to explode on somebody. Hold on Sagittarius. I'm going to flip the camera around. Here we go. Now, yes, I'm going to articulate this with tarot, but let's review this really quickly. See here down below. Something has been bothering you and growing and building up over time and you have held your tongue. I bet you over this Mercury retrograde, the irritation just got so bad that you were like, things might have slipped out already, but it's almost like you didn't hear from something. Like you were waiting for something to move forward. Like I said, it's almost like you thought the situation was going to end, right? But it's like somebody kept you hanging. You're like, you're like, okay, I thought you were going to move out my house. I thought you were going to move out my house. I thought you were going to move out my house. But they're still there, they're still there, they're still there. And you've held back. This was a situation like you wanted, you, uh, like, this is just a, a metaphor. Um, you know, you, 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 want, you allowed your friend to live there for like a month and now it's been a year. So it's been building up for quite some time and you've held your tongue for quite some time. And they 
finally maybe you said something to them, right? And, and they were like, oh, I'm, I'm going to find a place. I'm going to find a place. Or let me get you an answer. And they never did. So you held on. You held on a little bit longer. But now it's like, no, I'm pushing the answer. I'm pushing the answer out. I want to understand. I want to know exactly what's going on. I'm not waiting. I'm not doing this on your timing anymore. And that's what this is about. This is like you're choosing the divine timing. You're making the choice. You're about to bring the storm of chaos that only you can survive, Sagittarius. And spirit is like... Is like it you're 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 the destiny here. You're the time maker. And that's what you have to understand. It's all about you when you're ready because you're you're the one that's gonna bring not the energy of nine. You're gonna bring this out. You're gonna bring this to the forefront. Um, this is something that you've been sitting on for a while. It's been bothering you, maybe keeping you up at night, stressing you out. Bottom line, you're looking to the future now and you're tired of these dead ass ghosts. You're about to throw them away. Let's go over to the tarot card reading to see if we can articulate and bring out some um, more like personalized messages. Sagittarius, the link is below. That's also going to include your romance reading if you're curious. I'll see you guys over there.